<laughs> Hi guys, we have something extremely exciting today. Well, we've just spent the last hour or so at the park throwing the ball. And as you see, we are still wound up. I'm sitting on the floor doing this so she can see it too because this is her first bark box. Well, the chihuahuas are around here somewhere or and he's not always interested. He's probably on top of the couch, eh, behind the couch. Um, so sitting on the floor with an alligator might not be the smartest thing to do, but I'm going to endure it for you guys, okay? So without further ado, before I get eaten, this is the Super Chewer Bark Box. As you can see, we're gonna super chew. Nice, this. <clears throat> because, else, because even though she's little right now for a Malinois. She's not gonna stay little for long and she does chew. My Chihuahua is not interested in chewing. He might be more interested in the treats, but that is it. So we got the Christmas edition. I see the peanuts everywhere, everything like that. So I got the Home Alone Super Chewer release. I got the Home Alone Super Chewer because we are fans of Home Alone. So let's reach in here. First thing. We have Pork King of the Midwest Pork Recipe Dog Treat. So we're gonna see how these taste. You're gonna let me know. And I'm gonna put these up a little ways so that she doesn't try and get them. Come here, wanna try it? Sits, oh, she's gonna try it. And it looks like Oren wants to come out and try it. Do you wanna see if you like them? Do you like them? He's not so sure, he's a picky eater. So that's why he doesn't actually get subscription to the box. It's not that I favor one more than the other. One just does not like things. Plus, good. Broke that one off. So next thing out of the box. Welcome to Super Chewer. I bought a whole subscription uh, because they had a, a really good sale. Don't tell my husband. Sorry, honey, if you're watching. It just keeps the treats and the toys nice and fresh. Um, the Chihuahua has all these little ratty toys and she just tears them up. I mean, she's not that destructive comparatively to other Malinois and different things like that. But I wanted to get her something that she could actually use. Next thing that I saw interesting out of here, she likes the tags, is the McAllister doorknob. Look at that. It is super hard, does not move, hard plastic. So if you watch the movie, you know that Marv burned his hand, or Harry, Harry bur burned his hand on the doorknob and left a big M on it. So there we go. Well, she likes that in. Well, good. So Maligator approves of doorknob. Now I'm gonna try and move through this so we don't go too much. Now this, I am unsure what this is. Super Chewer. Harry's gold tooth. Ah, yeah, Harry's the one that burned his hand on the doorknob. Harry's gold tooth. Now, if you don't remember that part of the movie, the tooth got knocked out by Kevin. He's like, my tooth, my tooth. And Kevin's dad finds the tooth at the end of the movie. Spoiler alert. So we'll see what she thinks about the tooth. Now, so she doesn't get bored after we go through the box, I'm going to put up the toys and give them to her a little bit at a time. So it looks like she gets three toys, two bags of treats, and two super chewers. Uh, the treat and the chews in this box were produced in facilities that may process grain, wheat, corn, or soy. Okay. So it looks like they have a really nice introductory this one here is the van that they keep parking outside the house at and fill the van with all kinds of stuff. 
You like this one? Let me take the tag off. You want to try this one? Okay. Okay. Ow. <laughs> she is excited to have these. And this one looks like you might be able to stuff something in it. So <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video, not that there's a lack of bark box videos and opening videos. The thing is I always see for the petite chewer or the small dogs, things like that. And those obviously don't help somebody with a breed that is chewing and chewing and chewing. And as much as she loves her stuffed animals, sometimes she really needs something extremely hard to chew on. So this is natural rubber, it says. So these are actually really good quality toys, in my opinion, because they're very good. Now, if you have a really good chewer, all right. Little Nero's Lamburger Pizzas. So let's open these and see if these are approved as well. Oren, come here. Come here, bud, you wanna try one of these? So we'll use those during training. Come here, Oren. Do you wanna see? Sits, sits foot. Come here, bud. Come here. Let the viewers at home see. Shake a paw. Good. And try it. All that work for nothing, go have it. Okay, well, he likes the lamb burger. He did take that one. Now he's gonna take it in his bed and hide. Now we also have two sticks. We have a pork stick and a peanut butter stick. And the Chihuahua doesn't even chew these. He guards them. Here, which one do you like? Here, sniff them both. Okay, the pork, the pork has the, uh, the pork has the, uh, vote on that so we're gonna open that sit in sit in sit in give it out give it out give it out give it out give it out, give it out. good plots plots i i distracted her plots plots good so now she's gonna take it away <laughs> but Okay, that's it for the box. Nothing else is in here, just some welcomer stuff, probably some information. They ask you like a questionnaire. And she is a puppy, but she's considered a super chewer. So it looks like there are a couple more treats in here, puzzle treats. This is a puzzle treat. So apparently you fill this with the treats and different things like that, and they're supposed to try and get them out. And she does have a couple different puzzle treats. She gets frustrated with them sometimes, especially if they're too hard. Uh, she hasn't quite figured out everything yet. So I try to keep them a little bit easier and get her more advanced as she gets older. But I'm wondering if I'll ever get this squid. It's super cute. But anyways, that is the Super Chewer Home Alone Bark Box.